All right, so here's a close-up of um, the Mako Pro pull Q-tip and the Kamui original uh, pull Q-tip, both medium hardness. Now, what's the big differences between these two tips? Why buy one versus the other? Again, um, brand preference, that is a personal preference. That's your choice. And once you find a brand that you like, most people tend to stick with that brand. So this is just to show you the value itself in a Mako brand tip. As you can see, the Mako Pro is on the left, the Kamui Original is on the right. They're both a medium hardness tip, both 14 millimeters in diameter, and both eight layers of imported Japanese pigskin. Now, the Mako tip, you can see, is slightly taller versus the Kamui. The main reason is we use a thicker piece of Japanese pigskin. So once the eight layers are compressed, obviously, the Mako tip's going to stand slightly taller. But one of the big factors is that by using the thicker pigskin, there's much less of glazing over of the tip itself. Now you've heard a lot of people say, oh my tip, you know, when I first put it on, it played, you know, really nice. And then as the more I played with it, the harder it felt. That's um, a very common thing in a lot of tips out there. So you will not experience that with the Mako brand tips. So that's a significant difference. Also, big factor is the retail price of this Mako Pro is $10.99 and we all know with the other brand pretty much sells for it.